Right, the next award is for Breakthrough Talent, sponsored by Sarah Putt Associates, and to present it, an inspirational woman who's done so much to encourage and support new talent. Please welcome the entrepreneur, Jo Malone. There are two aspects to this award. Not only have you got to break through in one of the most competitive industries there is, but you have to have the talent to back it up. No mean feat, which is why I have the utmost respect for all of tonight's fantastic nominees. Let's take a look at them. If they ring and they ask, oh, what sort of uh, person is Ryan? What am I going to say? Mark Williamson, oh, the last chance he's, school. He's all right, but he's rude and abusive. He threatens people, he swears a lot. I've come to school to fucking sort out my life. Right. Everyone thinks if you fix something again, you're going to do it again and again and again. You're done! Right. You fucking done! We can't lie, Ryan. It's not our behaviour that's causing this issue. Whose behaviour is causing this issue? Mine. Right. <laughs> Marcel Metal Siphon, children on the front line. <laughs> She loves him to bits. Do you really want her to grow up thinking that this is not? Oh, I'm a good mum. Is that you? She doesn't see anything. It's not. Oh, come on, Ash. She's in the house. Regina Moriarty, murdered by my boyfriend. I know how it looks. I know how it looks, but it's not like that. It's me. Most of the time, I'm starting it. I wind him up. I hit him oh, too. I'm sorry, no. Hey, you killed that kid. Chris Lunt, pray. Mace! Mace, get off him now! Mace! Mace, get off him! Mace, get off him! And the BAFTA goes to Mark Williamson for the Last Chance School. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a wonderful surprise uh, to be up here. Uh, it was a real honour just to be nominated, uh, so thank you. Um, uh, the Last Chance School was a really rewarding film to make, and I'd like to thank everyone who was involved in it, and especially the school and the boys who welcomed us in as they did. Uh, the film was made as part of the first cut strand, so you know it's a fantastic opportunity for new filmmakers. So I'm really, really grateful to Channel 4 uh, for helping me there, and, and also with their continued support. Um, you know, this is, it means a lot to me. So, you know, uh, I've been really impressed with the whole industry, actually. Um, and uh, everyone's continuing support for new filmmakers. Um, and, and BAFTA as well. I was very lucky to be named a, a BAFTA Breakthrough Brit earlier this year, um, which has given me the opportunity to be mentored by some amazing people, and they've all given their time to me. So, you know, I'm really, really grateful. And uh, just want to thank my wife as well, who is the producer, who's, who's very pregnant at the moment. She's going to give birth in about four weeks' time. So I hope, uh, I, hope I haven't caused it early, Emma. I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. How does it feel? You know, all the other nominees were, you know, absolutely wonderful. And, incredibly uh, strong category. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, so just, you know, incredibly shocked. Um, um, but, you know, obviously amazingly happy that's, you know, that it's something that we, you know, we would want to achieve at some point in our career, but to achieve it so early is, you know, absolutely brilliant. And it's such a heartfelt piece. How did you decide which children? I think it was to kind of get the right balance and find boys that were at a turning point, because that's obviously, I think, what we like to see when we watch a film is seeing people change. So many wonderful boys. Junaid is, you know, won my heart the first time I saw him. He was a little boy sitting in the corner, uh, all alone, no friends. 
Um, and if you asked him, you know, how he was feeling, he always just kind of said like, no one likes me, no one cares. So I thought, you know, we need to go on a journey with this boy okay. for him to find, find himself. And you know, now, um, I think partly because of being part of the film, he sees himself in a very different light. Um, he's in the school football team now, he's got friends and you know, so just to kind of... Like a happy ending. Yeah, right? to go through that life-changing experience kind yeah. of, you know, you know, with him, you know, absolutely wonderful. This is the first of many, I hope, yeah? It would be lovely if I was here again at some point in my career, but you know, the, the support that I've had from BAFTA uh, so far this year has just been absolutely amazing. Um, you know, uh, being part of the Breakthrough Brits, mm -hmm was a you know, wonderful, wonderful opportunity to me to kind of meet my heroes and be mentored and I've just been completely overwhelmed at how much time people are prepared to kind of give you uh, in terms of giving you advice and, and just kind of learning about your life and, 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 and trying to help you. So, you know, I'm, uh, I'm completely o overwhelmed and uh, uh, I actually, I, I started mentoring my first person for BAFTA uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, so hopefully I can Full kind circle. of return the favour. Yeah, but it was a bit weird because yeah. obviously I'm just starting with mentoring as well. So fairy tale, congratulations! That's absolutely amazing. Thank enjoy you so much. Enjoy the night and thank enjoy you. We will. that beautiful gold face. We will. Thank you. <laughs> thank Cheers. You very much.